hasn't really registered so far. You know, all roads lead to mobile. It's, you know, one of those things that uh, it's just the way the world, the world will change more in the next, you know, 10 years than it has between the dot com. Just because 6 billion people are going online, 6 billion people are walking, bringing this thing around with them everywhere they go. They're defining their existence by it. You know, it's like your car, you know, a lot of the um, American motoring industries talk a lot about how millennials aren't interested in their car anymore. They used to be the first thing you did. Now they show you their phone, you know, even in their parts of, uh, you know, literally parts of Africa and Latin America, where people have showed you their phone just to sort of show that, you know, they're modern and that kind of stuff. And, and uh, you know, they, 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 they feel empowered to use it as a way of expressing their modernity and stuff. They don't, they see PCs as like a business tool or something like that. So they, you know, if you have a phone and you have a PC, they grab towards the phone. So, you know, this is a very exciting time to be working in mobile technology, just with all the things that are happening. This isn't just like an extra wave. This is an exponential sort of thing. Um, and the other, which is another uh, gaping void uh, cartoon is this idea of, you know, the future of the phone is the future of the world, uh, which is kind of sounds like a dramatic, um, you know, thing to say. But, you know, if you are, you know, crop reports in India, you know, disease, uh, you know, the amount of information that's available, you know, is quite revolutionary. Um, and, you know, when people find out, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg has this big thing about, like, information is sharing is always good. In other words, this idea that, you know, sure, there are some things that we would rather keep to ourselves, but in general, uh, you know, the world is better off knowing about things uh, than not knowing. And one of the things that I scare the students here in IE about is, uh, that this is actually quite threatening for them because there was a time when only people in you know OECD countries had access to good education you know whereas now on YouTube and through phones and things that you can get as good an education almost as you know you can in many cases go directly to the originator of the theory and that kind of means that uh, sort of an advantage that you, you know people in this part of the world had is starting to leverage away. Now it also has another different advantage, which is that there are more people working on problems. Therefore, you know things like cancer. It, it surprises me how little people are really working on things like cancer, uh, even working. And also, there are people who are looking at problems without previous references so things like energy generation you know there are people coming up with creative solutions that aren't based on the grid from which most people coming out of colleges come so you know again the phone uh, is you know you know people talk about the wheel i guess and motorized transport although there is a theory in economics that the washing machine has been the biggest transformation to humankind because it has freed uh, a lot of women from having to spend lots of time doing the washing and those people have those women have now come into the workforce and stuff like that so there is you know economics has uh, an interesting theory that the washing machine has been a bigger advance in in society than uh, a lot of other technical gadgets